and today we're going to do bubbles on a budget and we are here at Wine World in Seattle, Washington and we're joined by David LeClaire who is the founder owner of this fabulous fabulous facility. Hello David. Hello, thanks for Isn't having me. Isn't he handsome? Aren't we <laughs> lucky? David, what is Wine World? Tell us about it. Well, Wine World is, uh, as it was just described, an amusement park for uh, wine enthusiasts. So uh, we have over 8,000 different wines to pick from. That's not numbers of bottles, that's just different kinds. Eight. Thousand. We also have um, your shirts and glassware and cheeses and chocolates and, and cigars and crackers and whatever you could want. So, how many square feet is this? It's 23,000 square feet. And we also have 4,000 square feet of that is event space with floor to ceiling windows. And so we do all kinds of private parties and receptions and trade shows and everything in there. And people who love wine love to come here because they can never run out. Well, you have a bocce ball court in we have, here, too. We have an indoor bocce ball court. I and mean, who's uh, ever heard of that unless you're in Italy? I know. It's a little crazy. We also have two 30-foot tasting bars in the middle of the store. So we do tastings every single day of the week for free from 6 to 8 p.m. We can ship to just about anywhere uh, within the country. Well, let's ship. Well, I'm Let's do it. Let's get started. Let's get started, all right? Because a wine tasting without wine isn't a whole lot it of really fun, does. right? The first one is a Prosecco. And so since this is bubbles on a budget, it's hard to get Bouffe Clicquot on a budget. So usually we're looking at wines that are $15 and under. Mm -hmm. So this is a Prosecco from Italy. This is delicious. Isn't this a nice way to start your day? Lovely. You know, so much for Starbucks. Okay. Let's start with Prosecco. I think this is the way now, to go. wait a minute. So, how much does this run? It's always about the money. Why don't you taste? Because if if I can't afford it, I can't afford it. I wanted something that I he said but on, on a budget. budget. So this is twelve. So that's a good price. Twelve ninety nine. Because champagne's got to be from France to right. call it champagne. Right. So prosecco is going to be from Italy, and cava is going to be from Spain. Cava. And then okay. the Americans, we just call it sparkling wine. Excuse but for me. You're just going to have a moment with it. Yes, she is. <laughs> Having a moment. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Delicious. So prosecco. Prosecco. Ah, clean, crisp, a little bit of pear, a little mm. bit of apple, really, uh, just a touch fruity. So I love Prosecco in the morning uh, if you're doing like a brunch, or I like it if you're going to actually be making a mimosa because mm -hmm. it kind of seems like it's not too dry, so it goes mm -hmm. really well if you're adding a little bit of something to it. Um, but it's just a really pleasant wine, and I love this wine for, sh for weddings, for toasts, because it's not too expensive. Mm -hmm. Everybody can have some, and everybody likes it because it isn't too dry. But it needs to be really cold. Yes. You champagne has to be. And I I made a joke earlier. I do put my champagne glasses in the freezer because then when you put the champagne in it, it is really cold. Right. Okay, this is All a right. very pretty bottle. So now we're going to Pacific Rim, which is a new Washington winery that's actually a California winery mm -hmm. that oh. moved up here just because we have so many Riesling grapes and they really don't grow a lot of Riesling in California. Now, they do mostly dry style Rieslings, and mm -hmm. today Riesling is getting drier and drier versus the old sweet Riesling that we're used to. Mm -hmm. Because there's almost nobody doing bubbles in Washington, they decided let's make a, a bubble out of Riesling as well. So, this should be an interesting experience, mm -hmm. and I like it because it looks perfect for a wedding. It's it got does. the flowers, Beautiful. and it's called white flowers. Beautiful. Isn't that sweet? No, it is. It's, it's kind of girly, it but... It looks you know. like Perrier Jaunier. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> I have more. That's fine. So what do you think? Well, you know, it seems they have a lot of bubble at the front, and mm -hmm. then it just disappears. It it's does. not really bubbly for long. Right. It's refreshing and tasty, but it doesn't have enough bubble for me. Yes, me either. And a little low on the bubble. Okay, how much is this? Thirteen ninety nine. Oh, well, I, I, for, in my opinion, I would go with the Prosecco Lunetta. Okay, that now, was mm -hmm. delicious. now wait a minute. All right, yes, then there's Pam. <laughs> now wait a minute, this All isn't right. bad. This isn't bad. No, I, I mean, but I think I see what you guys are saying. It's like the first, the first sip, you, you taste the bubbles and then it sort of disappears. Well, this so, isn't our favorite. Now, okay, so that's this okay, is though. Second. And that's the this whole idea. Second. You know, that's we're right. not going to love everything. Bubbles on so, a white flowers, yeah, yeah. thumb sideways. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know I what I mean? Like yeah, because I, I won't say it's down, right. but it isn't the top, so I would say sideways. Right. I'm with yes. you. I'm okay. with you. All right. Okay. White so flowers. Let's move on. Oh, there is more. Okay, we've got more bubbles for you. So, we talked about rosé. Right. And that rosés are made out of Pinot Noir grapes. Mm -hmm. So, let's taste a rosé and see what you think of it, okay? Okay, here we go. We won't shoot this one. We'll do it the right way, all right? Now. I don't know. Kind of shooting was Well, it made me feel like it was time 
time to party. Oh, yeah. okay. It did. It made me feel like. Oh. <laughs> every time. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I took my eye off. Oh, yeah. I took my eye off. It's really a party. There you go. Interesting. This is a nice name. So what is the name? Voove something. Voove, not Voove Clicko. Voove something. <laughs> Voove <laughs> de Vie. So what the, the thing is, is with uh, the French, is that if it's not from Champagne, they can't call it Champagne, even though it's from France. Oh. So it has to be from the Champagne region. So this is a non-Champagne Champagne, because it's from somewhere else in France, mm -hmm. not in the little Champagne region. Okay. And it's made out of Pinot Noir grapes, so it has that nice, pretty okay. color. Okay, let's do our little... Okay. Oh, yes, I have to clink before I drink. Wait a minute. This is very this good. Is delicious. This is, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a strawberry. There's a little bit of a mm -hmm. strawberry taste. Yeah, and most rosés will often leave a little bit of a, of a flavor There's or like an aroma fruit. of strawberry. But it's not sweet. No, not it's at all. That's what I like about it. It's just a little wisp of it yes. in the background. Yes. It's mm -hmm. delicious. Now, rosé is always going to look sweet because it's pink, and Americans right. have this white Zinfandel thing in their mind. Right. <laughs> what does this cost? Okay, that's uh, $10.99. <gasps> it's $10.99? This, this could is, be our, our This has got this a could really be the fine bubble. It does. So, yes. the other one didn't have a lot of bubble. This one has a little more bubble, but it's kind of small. Look at the bubbles. You th no, you know what? Is it because it's our third one and we're feeling, you know what they tell you? Could it be? By the third drink, who knows? Everything tastes be? good. Is that it? Could be. Now, the yes. other thing is, is that bubbles, since they're speaking about it, are often considered to be special occasion wines. Right. Mm -hmm. But in Italy and in, Fran in Italy and France and in Spain, they typically use these wines for everyday drinking. Mm -hmm. And Americans are the ones that save it for, sh for a special occasion. Right. So we do that? In the afternoon, they stop, get a glass of Prosecco oh. on their way home. Right. Kind of like we go and, you know, get a beer get a or coffee. whatever. Don't think Happy twice hour. about Some it. Some people do the cup of coffee. Right. Mm -hmm. Instead true. of, this would be much better. I would much rather Much have better. This. So we're going to wrap it up with one more wine. Yes. Champagne and sparkling wine doesn't always have to be you know, the light pink or the, right. the white. Right. In Australia, where it's really hot, they drink a lot of Shiraz, but it's too hot to drink red wine in the middle of summer, so they do right. sparkling Shiraz. Now, Americans have not been so excited about doing that. And finally, I've been trying to get people to try it over it's time. It's a great idea, and it's though. it's been slow to catch on in America. Right. Now you're seeing a Washington winery, one out of the 750, called Apex, which has now doing a sparkling Shiraz from Washington. But they don't put Shiraz on here. They just call it sparkling red wine. Aren't those called black bubbles? Okay. And they are called black bubbles as well. We've tasted black bubbles yep. before. And so there's other people that label it as black they bubbles. It this black one's bubbles. just it labeled Apex, it was sparkling else. red. Okay. It was a little too sweet for me, was Black it? Bubbles. Well, yeah. This cute. one, I was amazed. We, really? we tried this and I was, ex I was skeptical. I was well, thinking, ah, it's, it's going to be really sweet. This is oh, look at how dark red that is. Oh, isn't so, Anna, if you really isn't want red beautiful? wine, but it's a hot day. That's my problem. I don't feel like on a hot day I want to drink red you wine. You can't see the bubbles, David. It's not, yes, it's, you, you lose some of the, the look of the it. The look of Unless it. Unless you look straight down at it. Okay. It's kind of like sparkling grape juice. It tastes like sparkling grape mm -hmm. juice. You like grape juice? You'll mm -hmm. love this. You'll like That's exactly what it tastes like. Well, it's a lot drier, though, than mm -hmm. the Aussies. The Aussies Very. is really, really Good. sweet. So this one, to me, I think is uh, really restrained. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for a sparkler, yes. um, not bad. And it's, again, only thirteen ninety nine. Of the four that we've tasted today, I would say that my favorite is... No, you liked the, the rosé. No, I like this one. You like Lunetta? I did. The Prosecco? And this was second for me. I think I'm with you, Sam. Thank wow. you, David LeClaire from Wine Thanks World. for coming in you this morning. You made this very special. All right, we'll play some more soon. Here's to you. All right. Salute. <laughs> okay.